math operations in C++. In our C++, we can write our own functions, but there are also very rich set of functions defined in our C and C++ libraries. And these functions are known as inbuilt functions or library functions. And in case of C++, we are having a very rich set of mathematical functions with the help, help of which we can calculate different mathematical calculations. So, the list is too long. So, here in this particular presentation, we are showing you some of the very useful and common mathematical functions. So, here is the, are the functions for us. So, double cos double. This double is the angle expressed in double. It will calculate the cosine of that and it will return that angle, the cosine of that angle in the format of double in the data type of double. Similarly, for sine, it will take this double expressed angle as input and then it will do the sine of that and it will return the sine of that angle in the form of double as output. Similarly, for this, but here the calculation will be tangent. This is the log. This function takes a number and returns the natural log of that number. So, double pow double double. Let it be double x double y. It calculates x to the power of y and it returns the value in the type of double. So, here we are having some other functions are there. We are having double hypot double comma double. If you pass two sides of a right angle triangle, then this hypot will calculate the hypotenuse of that respective triangle and that will be returned. SQRT which will calculate the square root, ABS which will calculate the magnitude part of the number ignoring the sign that is the absolute of that number and there is a F abs. So, here this function returns the absolute value of any decimal number passed to it. Floor finds the integer which is less than or equal to the argument passed to it. So, that is a floor. Similarly, we can also have the ceiling here. So, now let us go for one example, one sample code for the understanding. So, here we are having so many different variables, you can find that they have got initialized and now I have used this sign, ABS, floor, SQRT, POW for them and we are trying to get what are the values they are going to print and this is the respective output whatever we have obtained. You can type this code, you can run it, you will be observing these outputs are coming as the when the program will be executed. So, in this way we have discussed multiple different mathematical functions which are pre-written in the libraries of C and C++. Thanks for watching this video.